while their mothers go eat. That's so cool! I know! <laughs> knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Moose. Moose, moose who? who? It moose be joke time! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you call a deer with no eyes? I don't know. I have no idea either. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. What has four legs and flies? Hmm, I don't know. A mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you guys ready to help me go over what we learned today? Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. Which one is the largest member of the deer family? The moose, the bison, or the elk? It's the moose. All of the animals that we learned about today are members of what family? If you said the deer family, you're right. Which fall off every year, horns or antlers? The answer is antlers. What does the word herbivore mean? It means plant eater. On what day did God create the moose, bison, and elk? If you said the sixth day, you're right. I hope you learned something about moose, bison, and elk today, and I also hope that you remember the Bible verse that Kiana taught you. 1 Timothy 4.12 be an example to all believers in what you teach and in the way you live. God loves you so much that he gave you his only son, Jesus Christ. If you want to know the love of Jesus Christ, pray this prayer with me. Father God, I confess that Jesus is my Lord. I make him Lord of my life right now. I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead, and I thank you for forgiving me of all my sin. Jesus is my Lord, and I am a new creation. Old things have passed away, now all things become new. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, thanks for being with us today, and we'll see you next time right here on Creation's Creatures. Bye! If you have a question about wildlife, please send a video or your question to the address on your screen. Creations Creatures, P.O. Box 605, Carnegie, PA 15106.
Freddie, David, Melissa, and their friends find themselves navigating the rough waters of peer pressure, temptation, fear, dealing with bullies, lack of self-esteem, and so much more. Each episode shows the characters praying to Jesus, asking Him for guidance and wisdom. Watch Sea Kids on Smile every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Wiki. I'm DJ Kitty with the Zing Hoppers. It's always a lot of fun to wash your hands and it's really really important to wash your hands with soap and water because it keeps you really happy and healthy and it makes your hands really clean. This next song is about soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands?
Wash the dirt all away. And you feel so happy. Wash your hands every day. And you feel so happy. With soap and water. As you slash and you scrub. You see the bubbles. It's the thing that you love. To see the bubbles. Rinse away, crap and drop. And you see the bubbles. With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? my hands. Do you like to wash your hands? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come learn, dance, and sing with 2 by 2 2 by 2 explores the wonderful teachings of our Christian faith for children ages 3 to 9 through role play, music, games, and animation. What's the letter of the day? What's the letter of the day? You can now watch 2x2 every Saturday on Smile, beginning Saturday, April 7th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Jesus? Yes. Yes, you do. All right. Well, boys and girls, we have so much today. We have stories and we have some exercising and Babushka's going to tell us some funny stories. Can you say bye? Say, don't go away. We have a great show. Don't go away. All right, kids, are you ready to exercise and have a good time? All right. This is for our Spanish friends south of the border and right here in America.
Yes, Babushka. What did Jesus have in common with the whale that swallowed Jonah? <laughs> Jesus had in common with the whale. Whew. Boy, I give up. I, I don't have any idea. <laughs> a sinner and the whale had a sinner for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's one for Babushka. Thanks, Pop. Yes, that's a, that was a good one. If you see the alert, you don't get hurt. Good short stuff. Hi, my name is Officer Reed and I'm from the Santa Ana Police Department and short stuff and I want you boys and girls to know how to play it safe. You, yeah. because you know, sometimes boys and girls like to hide from their brothers and sisters inside the house and sometimes, you know what? They'll hide underneath the kitchen cabinet. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, they hide underneath the kitchen cabinet and you know, there's a lot of things inside there that boys and girls should not be around. Like sometimes there's real strong chemicals Cleaning chemicals, yeah, cleaning chemicals that moms use, that to, and dads use sometimes to work in the garage, and moms use to clean the furniture and things like that and wash the clothes. You don't ever want to be playing around those kind of places, and you never want to be near those kind of things because those things could burn your skin if they get on you. you so you got to play it safe, huh? You're right. you got to play it safe. You don't play in the kitchen cabinets, and you don't play in the medicine cabinet either because that's where mom and dad a lot of times like to keep their medicines, and they can hurt you if you don't take them, right? That's right. They never take them by themselves. Uh, but they let their mom and dad give it to them. Because if you're safety alert, you don't get hurt. Very good, short stuff. Very good. Yay! Well, welcome to this segment of Etiquette and Manners. Before we go any further, I want to read you a poem. So listen closely. This poem is about Godfrey Gordon Gustus Gore. No doubt you've heard the name before. Was a boy who never would shut the door. The wind might whistle, the wind might roar, and teeth be aching and throats be sore, but still he would never shut the door. His father would beg, his mother implore, Godfrey Gordon Gustus Gore, we really do wish you would shut the door. Their hands they wrung, their hair they tore, but Godfrey Gordon Gustus Gore was deaf, deaf as a bayou on the nor. When he walked forth, the folks would roar, Godfrey Gordon, Gustus Gore, why don't you think to shut the door? They rigged out a shutter with a sail and oar and threatened to pack off Gustus Gore on a voyage pittance to Singapore. But he begged for mercy and said, no more. Pray don't send me to Singapore on a shutter and then I will shut the door. And I know many of you have come in and out of the house and you've left the door open or sometimes you slam the door really hard, but we don't want to be like Godfrey Gordon Gustus Gore, do we? No! No! So we're always going to remember to shut the door quietly whenever we go out of the house or in the house or wherever we're going. What are we going to do? Shut, shut the, the door. door! Until next time, bye! bye. Don't forget bye. to shut the door! <laughs> you want to sing another song? Do you know another song, Babushka? The boys and the girls, pa. And some of the grown-ups around here who just don't know need to learn the books of the Bible. Okay. Pa, did you know that I know them in a song? Really? And yeah. who is assisting you on the piano over there again? Well, Pa, his name is Dr. Walter Mills. <laughs> Really? Well, I, I knew Walt was a great singer, but I didn't really know he played the piano. Well, he doesn't, but we're, <laughs> we're going to put up with him anyway, Bob. Okay. He doesn't sing too good either sometimes, <laughs> no. but we oh, love him. Oh, yeah, no, he sings very well. Well, he's cute, so that's okay. all that matters. Okay. I see. Okay, here you we go. You want to learn the books of the Bible, Pop? Yes, okay. I would like to very yeah, much. Yeah, it starts like this. <clears throat> now let us Christians try to tell. The books of the Bible we love so well. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Pa. What? What is a Deuteronomy? <laughs> that is a Hebrew word. Uh, Jan, what does it mean, Pa? Jan will explain it later. That means that you don't have a clue. <laughs> It is part of the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old but Testament. But I mean, what a 
is Deuteronomy mean? Pa, <laughs> pa I love you, even though you don't have a stinking clue. What it means. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Could anyway, we just sing the song? Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. Yes. Ruth, Samuel, Samuel, Kings, Kings, Chronicles, and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, 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 Psalms, Psalms, Psalms. Why does it start with a P? The P is silent. Psalms, all Proverbs. All silent is it P, and all P is it silent. Why is that P silent? Could we just go on? Psalms, um, Proverbs. No, it's Proverbs. The P is silent. Psalms, Proverbs. No, Proverbs. Psalms or Proverbs are alms and all birds. <laughs> Babushka. Pop this piece silent or silent. Let's not give it one Don't and not the other. Don't argue with me anymore. Yes. It is Psalms, Psalms Proverbs, Proverbs, and, and Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. It's getting late, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Song of Solomon. Ooh, have you ever read Song of Solomon, Could Paul? we just hurry up and get this song That made over my with. blood run. Have you ever read the Song of Solomon? Woo! Jan, we'll talk to you later about that. <laughs> Jeremiah, Lamentation. What is a lamentation? When the prophet Jeremiah lamented for the sorrow of his people of Israel. Is that a nice book to read, Bob? It is a very serious book. Yes, Bob. Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Second Thessalonians, oh. First Timothy and Second Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews and James. Ooh, that was good. First and Second, second Peter. Peter. Well, why don't we have a third? First and Second, second John. Third John, Jude, and Revelation. Very good, Babushka. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Now, maybe someday you'll sing them straight through once yeah. without all those interruptions so that the boys and girls can learn it a little no, easier, a little better. Right, I love you anyway. And the books of the Bible are the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world to read. Especially Song of Solomon and a few other poems. <laughs> I love you. Bye. I love you too, Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah! Are you guys ready to have some fun and exercise? Yeah! And I know you at home are ready to have some fun, but before we begin, we need to always remember to warm our bodies up so we don't pull our muscles. So let's start with our necks and roll a big circle around, move our shoulders and loosen them up. Do our arms real big. Are you at home doing your arms? Michelle's doing her arms so big. And the fingers, let everything warm up. You got it, you got it. Okay, now you twist your waist. You got it, I see, you got it. Okay, now we're gonna do our hips. Loosen everything up. Do your legs really big. You warming up? You feel ready? Good, do a foot. Oh, Annie, let me see you do a foot. Oh, very good, everyone's doing. We got everything warmed up. 
Are you ready to go? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's do it. Woo! Twist. Let me see you twist that waist really good. Oh, yeah, how fun. You know how to do the swim? Hey, that was good. Woo! Okay. Woo! All the way down. All the way up. Twist. Come on, let me see you twist that waist. Good girl, look at Annie there. Twisting all the way down. Good. Okay, let's go around. Okay, remember this one? Go, Chloe! You said this was your favorite! Alright, good job, Julianne! Woo! Good job! Now let's twist! Do your favorite thing! What's your favorite thing? hope you at home are ready for story time, get in a comfortable position, and be real quiet and listen to this important story we're about to hear. Have you ever gotten in a lot of trouble before for trying to help someone? If you have, then you'll really like our story today. It's about Moses, the man of God, and how he almost lost his life by trying to save his people. You see, the Hebrews were slaves in the land of Egypt, and the Egyptians treated them very badly. They had to work hard all day long for their masters and barely even got enough to eat. Their lives were miserable. Moses was a Hebrew too. The Egyptians ordered the Hebrews to kill all of the baby boys as soon as they were born. Can you imagine? When Moses was born, it was only because the miracle of God that he lived. Pharaoh's daughter adopted him as her son and raised him as an Egyptian prince. But even though Moses grew up in the palace, his heart was with his fellow Hebrews. He helped them wherever he got a chance. <laughs> Aaron, come on, Aaron, you must drink. Miriam, it's our brother, Moses. These people are dying. So what? They're slaves. I know they're slaves. But if you treat them better, you'll have better workers. Maybe the leader on the battlefield, Moses, but you know nothing about managing slaves. Triple their rations of water and bread. Triple? Never. Do it. But it's impossible. So is building a city with starving slaves. The king's advisors didn't like Moses. They were jealous of him. I don't like it. A Hebrew ruling over us. He should have been killed years ago. But Moses knew deep down in his heart that what he was doing was right. He was interested in pleasing God. Not Pharaoh's advisors. I hope you have a good reason for beating this man. He's a troublemaker, sir. Well, if it isn't Moses, been off fighting battles for Pharaoh, why your own people die in the mud, huh? Look at me, Moses. Look at how your people suffer. Look at me. Quiet. No more beatings. But Moses had lots of enemies at the palace, especially Pharaoh's advisors. They wanted to get rid of Moses. Well, 
Uhura. You must admit, he's made remarkable progress. At the cost of our nation's honor. <laughs> yes. You're jealous. <laughs> of whom? Your Hebrew son? <laughs> Moses is no more a Hebrew than you or I. He is a prince in Egypt. And he has made us great. There is no greatness in treating slaves as well as a common Egyptian. For me, there is only shame. Have you heard of your son's latest achievement? He's given the Hebrews a day off, their Sabbath. <laughs> I think he wishes he was one of them. Moses had to really watch his step, but he kept trying to help his people anyway. Over here. Water. Grab it. Please. Please. Can I have some water, please? Moses, these are too old for real work. You want them to carry water or chop straw? Send them home. Home? Home. You're free to go. Get! One day, Moses heard sound of a slave being beaten nearby. He decided to investigate. Be careful, Moses! Beat me for the last time! <laughs> I said, no more beatings. Wait! Uh-oh, you're in trouble now. Moses buried the slave boss secretly and hoped that no one would find out. But not long afterwards, some slaves got into a fight while Moses was around. Stop it! Stop it, I say! Isn't there enough suffering here without beating each other? Who made you a prince and ruler over us? What are you going to do now, Moses? Kill me? Like you killed the Egyptian. Pharaoh's advisors rushed to tell him the news. Uh-oh! All of this was done to spare the life of a slave. I'm sure this can be explained. Quiet! Have Moses bound and brought before me. Father! He has gone too far. I forbid you to say one word in his defense. She won't have to. I can speak for myself. You, you have spilled Egyptian blood. He was beating a man to death. A slave. A strong worker. A worthless Hebrew. A man, a person, a living soul. He, for this crime against Egypt, you, Moses, shall be put to death. No! Quick, run! Run, Moses. Run! Well, guess what? God helped Moses to get away, and later he came back to set his people free. So if something bad happens to you, remember that God is in control, and he'll look after you just like he looked after Moses. Yay! Yay!
today at the kids club we've been at the park and we've been swinging and we've been on the slides and the teeter-totter and running and it's just a beautiful day today and I hope you all have enjoyed the show today and we are going to have a wonderful memory verse and you need to say it every day this week and the memory verse boys and girls can you say it with me is God will never leave me or forsake me can you say that what's your name Scooter, huh? Scooter. Scooter. and what's your name you guys couldn't be brothers, could you? Yeah. Oh, of course you are. Now, could you say the memory verse for me for the kids at home so they can, um, you can help them remember it? God will never leave me or forsake you. Forsake you. Oh, there goes the balloon. Well, that was a good job. So again, let's say it one more time. God will never leave me or forsake me. No matter what you're doing or where you are, you never have to be afraid because Jesus is always with you. He loves you more than anything in this whole world. So if you haven't written in to be a part of the Kids Club, boys and girls, we want to hear from you. And all you need to do is write us a little letter. Maybe tell us something, your favorite thing to do on the playground or just anything. But we want to hear from you. So you need to write to the Kids Club. P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. You said that so good. Can you say it again for all the kids at home? P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Well, boys and girls, we love you, and so does Jesus, and we'll see you next week. Can everybody say goodbye? Bye. And if you want to be part of the Kids Club, you've got to write us. That's Kids Club, P.O. Box A, sent to Anna, California, 92711. That's Kids Club. P.O. Box A, sent to Anna, California, 92711. And we'll see you next week right here on the Kids Club. Kids Club. The thing is just going wacko. Okay, let's try that again. Kids Club. Wiki wiki wiki. I'm DJ Kitty with the Zing Hoppers. It's always a lot of fun to wash your hands. And it's really, really important to wash your hands with soap and water because it keeps you really happy and healthy and it makes your hands really clean. This next song is about soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? You see the bubbles. It's the thing that you love. To see the bubbles. Rinse away, dry my gum. Can you see the bubbles? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? And make them nice and clean. Nice and clean. Water goes down the drain. And you feel so happy. Wash the dirt. All the way. And you feel so happy. Wash your hands every day. And you feel so happy. With soap and water. As you splash and you scrub. You see the bubbles. It's the thing that you love. To see the bubbles. Rinse away, grab a drop. And you see the bubbles. With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? my hands. Do you like to wash your hands? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Talk to t-
tomatoes. If a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes, up and down the produce aisle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have we got a show for you? Veggie tales, 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 veggie tales. Broccoli, celery, gotta be veggie tales. There's never ever 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 Kids, welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to answer your questions. Listen here.